hardest things I have ever had to do one of the don't play with it don't be this hi you guys welcome back if you're new here I'm Zandrio welcome come on in but in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys about life after a c-section I'm only a week out from c-section having my baby um i had a baby girl c-section and let's just say it was by far one of the hardest things i have ever had to do one of the hardest things i am trying to overcome because um still got my bands on y'all so you know it's a week and some um and yeah a c-section is no joke okay it's no joke um i've been in the bed for since i got home i can't do the stuff that i want to do i know i have to see in recovery this is the first surgery i've ever had um literally the first surgery i have ever 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 had in my entire life so for one it was really scary to just you know go in an operation room and have someone cutting on me like seeing all the equipment and the tools and all the doctors just there that was just scary um and a c-section may not have been hard you know a c-section is hard for some people and then it's not hard for some people for me it was really hard for me um and your girl is still trying to get through it i'm still not healed up and i know it takes time but y'all I, I can't do nothing on my own i need help with everything um and i want to first say shout out to my husband he is catering to me my every needs running and ripping to the stores um cooking getting food taking care of both of the kids because i cannot do anything you guys if it's not in this bed i can't do it um and then shout out to my mom for coming get the baby and just doing everything that she can do you guys i am so thankful for them um i literally i'm still trying to process that i had a c-section y'all and i had everything that i was gonna say when i get on the camera but child this is so hard i can barely move i can't get out of bed without help i can't cook the stuff that i want to cook how i want to cook it and i know I, I just gotta sit here and heal up and you know in due time and i just want to say thank you god for you know getting me through the surgery through the c-section and everything coming out right and everything coming out you know everything just coming out right and going right and good and y'all i was so freaking scared i must say i've had a vaginal birth and a c-section and if i had to do one all over again i would definitely do the vaginal birth some of you may not agree some of you may want the c-section some of you may want the vaginal but me i would do the vaginal again because and every c-section is different on everybody every c-section is different it may not have been hard for you it may have been hard for you for me it is was extremely hard for me um i feel like it's just cricket it was extremely hard for me um before that i did get an ecv that will be in another vlog i will explain and tell you guys all of that in like a whole nother vlog but y'all i just want to get on here and talk and vent to you guys because and i'm not going to tell y'all everything because you know i'm just not going to do that but i do want to tell y'all like hit some pointers with you guys um I had to wash with this soap for three days, the surgical soap for three days. Um, but we're well, not really even three days, two days, but they gave me three. I had to wash with the soap after I came from my appointment. Um, and then I had to wash with it that night. And then I had to wash with the soap the day before surgery. Um, I didn't even know I was getting a, a C-section. Like I was just, you know, brushing it off as everything's gonna go right, okay? Prior to the 
ECV that I was getting. That's what I originally was going in for to turn the baby around. But like I said, uh, that will be in a whole nother different vlog. But they still want to prep me for the C-section. Um, but I just want to say shout out to everybody that has had a C-section. Well, even giving birth first for most. Everyone that has given birth c-section vaginal whatever shout out to y'all because it's all hard but for me this is like by far one of the hardest things i have ever had to do you guys i feel like i'm having a little setback um but it's only been a week and some and i am on some freaking y'all know y'all get the medication they want you to take ibuprofen tylenol motrin um oxycodone stuff like that they give you just to keep down the pain and i must say uh, i don't like taking the freaking medicine but um and that's my fault i kind of like slacked up on that and i had to get back on top of that medicine because baby the pain is like one of the most unbearable pains to have your stomach freaking cut open and glued back together sewed back together they did sewing and gluing back together and y'all, it's so hard. Like, I actually don't even know how I'm even doing this. And like I said, I want to say shout out to the, my husband and my mom. And they are just getting me through my mom with the talks and just helping me cope with this. And it's just like so scary. Um, yeah, I'm probably going in a circle. I'm just, I had everything that I was going to say to you guys. Like, y'all know how it is. I was like, I had everything out like I was going to talk to you guys on this subject, this subject, this subject. And I'm just on the camera and the medicine is kicking in and child. And then you have like postpartum depression. I think I'm going through a little bit of postpartum depression. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Um, because I'm extremely happy for my children, my baby. She's so precious, so sweet. And I just love her so much, both of my kids. But y'all, this C-section will have you where you can't enjoy your kids, you can't do nothing, and you just have to overcome this. You just have to worry about yourself um, before you can do anything. You just have to sit back and heal. You can't do too much. And I just, y'all, shout out to everybody that has a C-section because it's so hard. It's so hard. Um... Like I said, shout out to everybody and everybody that's giving birth because it's just hard in general. But this C-section, baby, to me, is literally like the worst that I have ever had to do, to try to overcome, to just, it's just, yeah. Like I'm just sitting here in the bed and I'm like, I don't got nothing to do. I am finna watch me a good movie. My husband has, is going to the store for like the 200th time this week. Um, and he's gonna give me some food, so I can't wait to eat that. I can't move around. I can't use the bathroom by myself. I can't get up by myself. I can't do nothing by myself, you guys. So it's just really, really hard. Um, I like to do stuff. I like to get up and go and just all type of stuff. I know I just gotta sit back and relax and just overcome. It's not even the getting up to go part. It's just, oh, if I wanna go and you know, just do this just go look in the refrigerator just go and fix me something to drink just go and do this like i have to you know tell my husband to do it and i know he not gonna say it he not gonna say it he not gonna say he's not gonna tell me no anything like that he's gonna even if he is tired he's gonna get up and he's gonna do it because that's what he want to do and he doesn't want me to lift a finger he doesn't want me to do anything he just want me to get better and relax and i'm so thankful and grateful for that and for him I couldn't have picked a better father, a better partner, and I just want to thank him so much. I love you. And y'all, um, I'm going in circles. I know I'm going in circles, y'all. My mind is just so, like, and I'm just sitting in the bed, don't got nothing to do. Like I said, I'm going to watch me a movie because that's just about anything I could do. Right now, my mom has um, my baby, and she's spending time with her. I've had her, I think she's had her for like, 30 minutes already 30 minutes but she gives me some time to you know breathe and just you know relax give me a nap to win even though david does um give me that too he does need a break so she's giving us a break to you know 
enjoy ourselves and take time for ourselves and David can go to the store and for me and get stuff that I need done and he needs done she is giving us you know a break and I'm so thankful and happy for my mom thank you mom I love you so much mwah, mwah, mwah. and y'all I just want to get on here and tell y'all that and I'm not getting on here to scare anybody or anything like that um I'm just getting on here telling y'all how I feel okay because y'all Y'all my loves, y'all, y'all been keeping y'all in the family and y'all show so much love and support. So I just want to get on here and tell you guys, that's why your girl haven't been posting or, you know, uploading videos or anything. So C-section is hard and I was getting up and I think I did set myself back because the first day I got home, I knew I couldn't move around and I was just so excited to be home. Um, to, I was so excited to be home. I was just up moving around doing every single thing and then the next day came and it was like sit down chill relax like you don't work yourself like sit down so i will say once you have that c-section go home sit down relax like sit down and relax and if you have someone to help you let them help you and i know like some people like to do stuff by themselves but just sit down relax let them do it and just heal up because it's the best you'll heal up faster you won't have a setback or anything like that um and me being me i should have sat down and stopped trying to do everything and you know just let my husband did it in the first place and then i wouldn't be in so much pain other than that, i didn't do too much i didn't lift anything it was just me up i was just up non-stop that day and i wish i would have just sat down because I don't think I would be in this much pain. But then again, I don't know because this is the first C-section. And yeah, I'll be so happy when I heal up. I can enjoy my kids. Like I'm enjoying them now, but I can like move around with them and play with them because I do have a one year old and he likes for his mom to get up, take him outside, even though his dad does that. But he likes to say, mom, look, a mom come here. You know, mama. You know, he likes to show his mommy and I can't get up and do that. You know what he wants me to do. But yeah, yeah, I just want to get on here and vent to y'all. Not really even vent, but just tell y'all my life after C-section. Or a week into C-section. Like, I'll be so happy when this is freaking healed up and over. And shout out to my sister because she has had five C-sections. And I have been around her each and every single time. And I've seen how she moved and the way she was moving slow and just, you know, she couldn't do stuff for herself. Her husband had to do it or either me or my mom or sibling had to do it, you know. But when you're actually going through it, it's like literally different. Or when you've experienced it, it's really different. Like, I, girl, you are strong. I commend you, girl. Like, sister girl i love you you are so strong i didn't know it was this hard and i got on the phone and told her girl you did not tell me it was this hard like i heard you but i didn't hear you and baby it's definitely really hard i don't know how my sister did it okay and then um to the single people that don't have anybody there for them to help them to you know keep them in their right mind or you know just help them in general to give them a break, to, to breathe, to give them time to themselves. I commend you and shout out to you because I don't know if I could have did it by myself. Literally, I don't know if I could have did it by myself. So shout out to y'all. Y'all are so strong. Um, and I'm just, shout out to y'all because y'all are strong too. And I, girl, like I said, I don't know if I could have did it by myself because baby, <laughs> it's hard with help. And I can only not even imagine without without help so shout out to y'all um but i'm trying to breathe <laughs> i'm trying to breathe and just heal up and then on top of trying to heal with the, the surgery the c-section you have your sore bread breast going on the engorgement you're trying to like show your kids love and just not miss out on even your newborn baby like her moments like her smiling like I want to hold my baby. I want to smell on her. And I just can't move. Once I lay back, oh, it's over. It's definitely over. I can't get up unless David help me up or my mom help me up or even my sister help me up. Y'all, 
when I tell you, I got like, um, I think four pillows behind, three or four pillows behind, four, three pillows behind me because one's here. And I'm just sitting up, and it's even so hard to sit up. Like, I did get a um spinal and epidural, and my back is just aching as well. And before y'all say something, I was not going to do that without any medicine. Sorry. Sorry. Um, but you do have to get medicine for a C-section. So there's no way possible that your girl can do that. But yeah, I just want to get on here and tell y'all how I feel, my experience. Um, but for like my EVC video, um, story time and stuff, I'll make a whole different thing. Cause I know it's people that want to, you know, know about the ECV and, you know, know how my labor, my, um, C-section experience went, but this is, this wasn't that, this was kind of how I was feeling me venting to you guys about this C-section. Um, it was really, really scary, but other stuff will be in like another vlog right now. I need to sit back. I need to lay back, but I kind of don't want to lay back because I want to wait till David like text me and be like, I'm on, he's on the way home. Cause he ran to the store for me. Uh, and you know, I don't want to be stuck laying down. Um, and then my mom has the baby and I don't want her to, you know, I don't want to bother her at the moment because she does have the baby and she's giving me a break. Um, so yeah, y'all. The C-section for me was really, really hard. The experience I had, really, really hard. Um, I can't wait to go to my, um, my, um, is it post-op appointment? Is that what you call it? My two-week post, postpartum, um, appointment. I can't wait to go there, um, you know, see how I healed up, see how everything is going, um, Is, yeah, and I'm not like I said, I'm not making this video to scare anybody, it's making everybody nervous that's about to have a c section or anything like that, right there. I'm just getting on here telling y'all how I feel because I, your yeah, girl sitting in the bed, and I just wanted to give y'all my experience. How was c section for you guys? Like, how was your experience after your, your c section, like the first week? Let me know down below. I know y'all can relate.